Hello, good morning, or the great morning, and I welcome you to another edition of Sunday Morning Dose. Sunday Morning Dose is where we discuss God's word from Christ's perspective. We usually say to ourselves here yeah, that if it does not make sense to Christ, it shouldn't make sense to believers or followers of Christ. Yes, it shouldn't make sense. It's just common sense that if my uh, my mentor is after something i should be after that thing too and if it's against something i should be against something too and our progenitor of christ talking about what we have to discuss today said that we should love our enemies yes loving our enemies is something that our progenitor stood for, Christ would teach, instruct, and encourage us to love our enemies. So what should we do in loving our enemies? So the, the first thing we need to set uh, here straight is that we must have a clear understanding of who is the enemy and why we should love the enemy. So the first question is, who is your enemy? So if you talk about, um, I know some people would not admit that the enemy is their neighbor, um, the enemy is, the, is someone living at their village, it's their village people. I know, I know they will not want to admit, um, practically admit that they, there is a face behind who they call the enemy, even though they will still say it's the devil, is Satan, but they have a face, they, they, they have an imagination of who the enemy is. So, so the question is, if your enemy is partially human being, then the question we should all ask ourselves is that, who created that being? Who is the creator of that being? If your enemy is human being, if there is a face behind your enemy, then who is the maker of that being? And even if it is the devil, then who is the maker of that demon or devil? So let's go straight to what Christ had to say before we answer that question. Why is it that Christ would advise us to love our enemies? In the book of Mark chapter 3, then I read from verse 23 to 25. Mark chapter 3, verse 23 to 25. So he called them to himself and said to them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So, if a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. So, the reason why we must love our enemies is that, especially if there is a face to it, to that person, to that enemy, <laughs> is that the face attached to that enemy is human being. And if you have answered the question of who created the human being, which we will answer from the scripture soon, is that if you have answered that question and it is God that has created that being, then once you consider another human being your enemy you are going against yourself and the more you go against yourself the more you are making the kingdom not stable the more you go against another being the more you are dividing a house against yourself and what would happen when when kingdoms are divided against each other, what will happen when 
you are divided against yourself is that there won't be stability there won't be peace and once there is no peace no unity there will be progress so you christ would draw us a principle that would not just help us going uh, spiritually going forward spiritually but that will also influence our lives and i will show you in a bit how this would affect your finances and these always affect the finances of nations a house that is against itself will not stand so the the gospel of christ the gospel the 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 good news will not stand once the good news has no stability the word of god will not stand once the word of god does not have stability so for us to create stability then we must make sure that we do not consider any other person our enemies and if at all we get to the point where we have considered someone to be our enemies we must not fall short of loving the person there is no excuse not to love the person not to love the person in god's kingdom and this is just simple it will divide itself against each other so against itself so let's answer the question who created everything on earth genesis chapter 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth god created the heavens and the earth if you are a christian you should be familiar with this and you should have come to the standpoint where you believe so so there is nothing on this planet called earth that can go against you or that should go against you that should cause you to hate it if you believe the scripture that in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth that in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth so once we make things out of in the heavens and on the earth our enemies we are going against the kingdom and the kingdom will not stand we are going against the kingdom and the kingdom will not stand then in genesis still in genesis chapter 1 verse 26 verse 27 so god created man in his own image in the image of god he created him male and female he created them so man was made by god of course if you read the verses in between verse 1 and this same verse that we read verse 27 you will know that every other thing that we could see on earth on planet in our world today was made from god so there is nothing that should make you consider them as your enemy not even plants not even animals and not human beings so everything should be loved yes everything should be loved why if your kingdom will not be going against another kingdom if your body will not be divided against itself then you should love so why is it that that could translate into finances because once you start eating it stops the flow of your creativity towards the person imagine if there are products that i personally would not say i am totally in love with the person uh, behind those products but imagine if the person had hated his enemy so much that he considers his product uh, too good not to be used by their so-called enemies the person not only the person would have just changed himself 
in terms of global acceptance and influence that they have created, but their person will be short of finances because they still need my money to buy this product. Let me bring it home. So you, you consider some people your enemy to the extent you stop selling to them. That is not business. And that would affect the cash flow that you make. So what should you do? Consider everyone a loving person. Love everyone. Create product and sell it to everyone. Because once you start dividing against yourself, that house will not stand. That house will not stand. And check the poorest nations are, are around us. These are nations that are presently divided against themselves. There is no stability, there is no unity, and therefore they can't make meaningful progress. And check the nations, the other nations that are prospering, that are prosperous. They have some level of stability, unity, and therefore they keep prospering. So I hope that the message of Christ of not eating your enemy would help you translate every area of your life into balance and help you to begin to maximize life by doing so. It's so practical, it's so practical that you, if you understand the depth of what Christ was saying when he said the house divided against itself would not stand, you would never, not just hate your, love your enemy, you would never have enemy at all. So I hope this has helped you. I hope going into this week, you would start loving all that you consider your enemies, especially the ones that there are faces behind and then see how God will move this week. So till we see some other time, same station next week. My name is Joe Ibarra and this is Sunday Morning Dose. Keep loving your enemies. <laughs>